with uh, Kirog versus Y Signal, and uh, you're joining me, Chevrage, and uh, Agent X casting. All right. All right. What's going on, Agent? Are you there? Uh, okay. Can't seem to hear you. Um. Hello? Hold on. Yo, Agent. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. I can hear you now. Excellent. All right. So there we go. They've they've actually spawned really close to each other. Uh, oh, oh they've spawned right next to each other. Yeah. We'll have to wait and see how long it takes for them to notice. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> this is a direct consequence of being able to spawn anywhere on the planet. Yep. I don't know how comfortable each of them is with what the community often refers to as comboxing. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Let's see how long it takes for them to notice. They're getting two bot factories and they uh in an air. Starting to get up metal. Uh Yes, they've each old... gone one bot one air. Yeah, Kirog's in a bit of a less advantageous uh, position here because he's got less metal spots real close to him. And he's got uh, a scout up. Uh, he might be the first to notice. Yep, he's definitely seen him. Mm, he's definitely yeah, seen can, him, yeah. On the economy tab, you can adjust line of sight so you can see one player only oh, from yeah. their perspective. Yeah, he's seen. Now this might put Kirog at an interesting advantage because he likes using boom bots. Oh yeah, that's true. Let's see if why so can he... uh, figure out a way to quickly set up a defense for them. All you need is a couple of little uh, tier one towers, right? Mm -hmm. I believe the high rate of fire on the docks bots is also uh, useful for oh, fighting yeah, boom bots. Yeah. And they're already harassing each other. <laughs> ah, he's using the air fabricator to reclaim the docks. And I guess the docks can't retaliate. They used to be able to. Yeah, they used to be, uh... Fairly good against the air that was stationary, but um, yeah. Now so they trying to do that, all. yes, trying to do that trick with the reclamation wouldn't work, though they were terrible against anything else. Oh, you can see he's got the boom bots out now. He's got the boom bots. You knew, you knew he would. Uh, it's a tad bit close. They might get found out by uh, by Y signal. He just needs to keep them from being discovered. Uh, to, nope. Uh, he I think he's given the game away there. <laughs> oh, they're going in. They might try to take out the power. Oh, possibly the air factory. It's a bit indecisive, I think. Yeah, they're definitely much better once you, uh, if you try to just take out the commander straight away. But yeah, look at that. He's already bombing the, uh, bombing the bot factory. He's got way more units out than, uh, than Kirog.
He might need to use the commander to defend against those bots. Yeah. A well-placed uber cannon shot would kill all the frontline ones. But those grenadiers have a very good range. Oh, but there's no yeah. anti-air. They're gonna get bombed. <laughs> His bot factory's done for. But Kirog's already got a uh, ship factory out already. So, some good firepower there. If he moves onto the water, he might be able to do alright. The docks can move underwater, but I don't believe they can return fire. Uh, none of them are really expand. Oh, Kirog has started expanding up to the north here. Oh, he has too. Good thinking. He should build some factories back there too, even if he doesn't use them right away. I think it's a good idea for yeah, him to expand sure. onto the water as well. He should get a few naval fabricators. Good to see them using their energy supplies. They're not wasting that, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, Kirog seems to be under... If he doesn't move that commander away though, he'll get obliterated by those grenadiers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, but look at that. The ships have already started firing. Nice. Why is Sigmund still not expanding? Oh, no, he has a little bit, nope. but I'm not sure what the hell is going on here. He's just sent them on a long trip. He probably sent them to Rome earlier. Probably. I mean, look at that. You've got a, uh, you've got a fabric here, not doing much. Just kind of wandering around. It doesn't around. appear to have any orders queued up. Not that I can tell. Hmm. Oh, there's definitely a uh, some order from a uh, air fabric here. Okay, so he would have queued up some extractors with that. So that's a good start. I think Kirog's commander is going to get worn down unless he pulls it away. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And it's very expensive to heal them back up. Why seems Even commander if he holds the line... Much. Even if he holds the line here to buy him some time, he should make use of the fact he's gotten all those metal extractors uh, in the forest and build some factories over there. Yeah, for sure. Might be a bit too much, uh, too much pressure here. Real close. For him to start thinking about that, he must be microing all the units. <laughs> oh, again, once again with the air. The only air defense he's got is the uh, commander. Why signal? Yeah, none of the bot options can re uh, retaliate. Uh, to air, I think at least until T2. Yeah. And even then, I'm not sure any of those bots can retaliate against air. Can they? I don't recall. Yeah. Can the sniper bot shoot aircraft? Oh, uh, you know what? Maybe he can. But it's, uh, Ooh. it is one unit. Hmm. Yeah, the vehicle options for anti air are superior. Yeah, for sure. The spinner. They have... Why Signal has no vehicle factories at the moment. But Whereas he is Kiro building does. an anti-air tower. Yeah. But this way he, he won't be able to go in with raids and uh, he'll definitely get stomped by even just one... one bomber. Ah, Kirog is replacing his bot factory. If he wants to repair his commander, he could build some combat fabricators. Which would do the trick. Yeah. Good idea is also to use combat fabrics to uh, reclaim the uh, forest to get some uh, extra metal. Or even his own destroyed structures, if yeah, need yeah. be. Yeah, that too. Kirog has a uh, fabrication ship going out on his little pond. Excellent. Though no. if he gets spotted by bo those bombers, it's toast. Totally. Yeah, looks like they're about to spot him. Oh, He's going T2 naval. That might be his strategy. Yeah, they haven't spotted his, uh, his fabrication ships. They're doing a wide berth all the way around. 
Oh, uh, they might escape. Totally. All right, what's going on? Yeah, it looks like Y signal's definitely caught on to the fact that he's got no metal, so he's uh he's been he's been expanding like a good boy. I'm not nice. sure Kirog's deployed any frigates, so those bombers could come back around. Oh yeah, true. But he does have some uh, some hummingbirds out, so they'll uh, they'll be able to take out some bombers. So far, Y signal's coming back in for another push. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it, there it is. There it is. The bombers. bombers. And it just it just takes a couple of bombers to wreck undefended bots. That's true. They didn't stand a chance, and there was only two. Yep. He really should consider deploying at least one vehicle factory for spinners. Got like four four or so fabbers here, just doing nothing, just idling. They are starting to uh, go down on energy though, so they should be building us some energy supplies. Uh, looks like those bombers were posted out to uh, to stop Kirog's mexes in the water. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. there it is. If you could get at least one frigate or another uh, hummingbird out there, he might be able to protect it. Yeah, there it is. There's the hummingbird. There we it's go. Yeah, those bombers are quite right. strong against tanks. Uh, not the bombers, the uh, grenadiers. Grenadiers. They outrange them, and they uh, they just absolutely decimate them. I assume you have to move either move in on them or keep moving quickly. Uh, I assume their accuracy suffers to compensate for their range and uh, arcing ability. Well, it does take a while for the shot to come in, so. Mm. You can, if you're, if you've got the speedy unit, you can probably out micro them. But with tanks, they just move so slowly. Yeah, it looks like they've got a pelter going up. Kirog's got a pelter going up. I think Weissinger was about to make one, but uh, the bomber did away with the uh, fabrication bots that were making. They're actually quite close on metal at the moment. Oh yeah, very close. So Y signal at the moment is is actually using up more of it. I think that's what that means anyway. The number on the right. See that? If it's blue, I believe it means he's floating. Yeah. Which means it's being wasted. Are you sure about that? I'm not. I don't know what the number yeah, on I think the right side means. Well, efficiency means that. Um, you're not being slowed down due to inavailability. Oh no, I mean so like if the, uh, the number on the right side of the slash. Do you see the two numbers for each metal and oh, the, uh, energy? Oh yeah. yeah, I think that's wasted. Oh, okay. So it's green when you're at least using all of it, and it goes blue briefly if you're capping out. But that usually prompts you to start spending it on anything else. Yeah, yeah. yeah it looks like the pelter's gone online. Let's see how it's going. Oh, I can't see anything. It's already attacking an anti-air tower. So we might want to redirect it to those massing grenadiers. Oh, it can actually reach the bot factory. Nice. Well, it those grenadiers... To... Those grenadiers start yeah. moving in like they're doing now. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's definitely you might want to redirect... Oh, but the ships... The ships are attacking. Holy shit. I... I don't think the pelt is gonna last. And he hasn't repaired the commander yet, so if he actually focuses on him again, if he notices he's still wounded, yep. it'll go down. Yeah, Y signal definitely in front on the uh, on the metal here. We're starting to expand into the island, we've got a uh, fabrication aircraft not doing anything. He's probably just too worried about what's going on in the on the front. On the southern front. <laughs> <laughs> Well, one wrong move and he'll be able to get rolled over. He's got an advanced bot factory up. So there we go. And Kirog's making a stingray at his advanced naval factory. Oh, Kirog's got an advanced naval factory. Nice. I did not notice that. 
I figured he might go Kaiju's, though I'm not sure if they're a good fit against Bot. Like, it might be a bit of a waste. I don't know. Yeah, Kaiju's uh, definitely might get destroyed by all these Grenadiers. Well, let's see, I guess. Let's see if Kirog's figured out he's got the uh, Stingrays that can move in. You can see the Stingrays have quite a large range. Oh yeah, they should do. Really. Got a couple of Pelters up by y signal now. Three Pelters, and the third one going up. Nuclear Missile Launcher! Holy shit! Oh, <laughs> can Kirog see that? Uh, no, he cannot. He doesn't know. No. But it's very expensive just to make the actual launcher. Kirog is uh, is currently floating at the moment, so uh, why signal? I mean, oh, the nuke missile launch is gone. He might have realized how expensive it was yeah. going to be and not to bother. Yeah, probably. At least until he has some T2 metal up. Kirog's going T2 bot. He should definitely try repositioning some of those. Um, T2 ships, though I don't know if they'll help. Uh, oh, they'll, they'll for sure help. They have the range. They have the range. Mm. But uh, Y Signal's getting those pelters up. Kirog is bombing uh, Y Signal's Max Towers. Over here. Ah, Kirog has built a factory over here, like I figured he might. So he obviously wants to build up some forces oh, in nice. reserve. It is an air factory, though. If he wants to amass some bombers, maybe. Uh, he's moving in the uh, advanced ships. We'll get to see what they can do. Oh yeah, let's take a look. Ah, and a kaiju. So just one kaiju might not be enough. Oh, we've got a Hulkins going up. Why signal's making a Hulkins now? He's so going all in on a that's, Hulkins. That's got range on uh, Kirog's entire base. Let's see if he can uh, prevent this from happening. Oh, the kaiju got obliterated oh, by the grenadiers. Damn. You were right. There was was no match, just one of them. And it doesn't look like the Stingrays have enough range to exert any more influence, unfortunately. Ah, the advanced bot factory's gone up. I'm interested to see what he'll make. So far, we've got just Tier 2 Fabbers. And, uh, Kirog is not making anything using that factory. Hmm. You might want to at least consider a, a combat fabrication bot for repairs. He's trying to go I in with another, another few Kaijus here. There's just one. Yeah, those, uh,. That Pelter is certainly giving him trouble. Yeah, Hawkins is about to get destroyed because, uh... Nobody's building it. Yep, they deteriorate if you stop building them, but he's obviously wanted to free up his metal again. It's yep. either that or he's decided he just wants to go in on more Pelters. Which are keeping the pressure on, I won't deny that. Oh yeah, that's for sure. They just don't have enough range to uh, target this main base, though. And going Every in with his other hands will get him uh, destroyed by the Stingray. Look at all if that firepower. Out the, yeah, if he can fin out those bots enough, maybe he can move in with something else. Oh, it's devastating. Oh, jeez. The massacre. Now would be a good time to move in with some... Kaijus. 
I still don't see anything being made at the um the bot factories. Let's see if anything's going on up on the other side of the planet. Y signal has a two two fabrication bot over here. Reclaiming like and making stuff on top of uh Kirog's Max. <laughs> I hope he knows that you can build the T1 and the T2 metal extractors on the same spot. Yeah, you have to build the tier ones, uh, tier ones first, I think, or otherwise you don't have enough space to make the, uh, the second one. Well, it wouldn't surprise me, though. I assumed you could build them in either order, but no, I think I, think I, I, I usually tried before yeah. and it didn't work. But I could be wrong. Yeah, that might be how it works. I usually build the T1s first because they're cheaper, and with the metal from one, makes it easier to build the next one. Where is Y signal going with this, this fabrication bot? <laughs> it's oh, to its doom. He's luring him into a false sense of security. What Y signal should be doing is making a lot more factories. He's got so much metal, and he's decided to use it on uh, on pelters and uh, yes, static defenses. He's going for a pelter crawl, and it might work. <laughs> Though I suspect the stingrays might make it difficult to, well, uh, it looks to pull like that off. Well, it's apparently working at the moment. All he yeah, needs to do is make, a, uh, make one of those anti-ship stationary turrets on land, because you can do that. And then, oh, the uh, torpedo launcher! Yeah, yeah. And it, Does and that it, like, work on land? Oh, oh, yeah. It launches oh, over the land into the water and then destroys ships. Oh, that's really nice. cool. Yeah. I don't know if the range is going to be adequate enough for this, though, compared with those stingrays. They're definitely keeping the bots at bay. But his, he'll just keep building the Hulk, the um, pelters in the other direction. Yeah. Kirog expanding into his little pond here. Y Signal has uh, claimed all the metal on the island. He's Island got a small west. Nice. He has a small force of kaijus. He might be thinking that's enough to have another crack at it. Oh yeah. And you know what? If he goes around and attacks here, it might be enough. Those are just anti-air towers. Those flak towers are going to do nothing against kaijus. While he keeps those bots busy, this could be it. Yeah, it looks like he's going to go the long way around with those kaijus. Can Vice Signal see them? He can on radar. Oh yeah. He's probably figured out that those that's a kaiju. It's If he could see them while they were in the water, it's kind of obvious that it's either kaijus or something unremarkable like um, docks. And they're moving way too slowly for that. He's got to move that... Well, oh. <clears throat> Why signals gonna move his commander away? Yeah, he's gonna get. Actually, can Kirog see the commander? No, so he might not know, which might give White Signal a chance to counter or escape. He moves those bots in. He might be able to really mess up those kaiju. Oh yeah, there they go. But you know oh, what? The this amount of kaiju is quite. Why signal? Pull that commander back! But the commander is getting attacked by a Hulkins. That's that's it. He got the oh oh my goodness! What Kirok is gonna kick himself? Oh he was so close. Ah, oh. oh. that was close. Well done, guys. Well played. Well done, guys. And that was King of the Planet Season 1 with Kirog versus Y Signal. See you next time, guys. Farewell.